Hey guys, it's Dikembe Mutombo's four and a half weeks to save the world. Welcome back as we move on. Not letting him even play his flute because we're in such a hurry to save the world. And we will be playing week three. And if you ever ask Dikembe where are all the white women at, he can tell you with him, apparently. So good for Dikembe. Alright, so what do we got here? Week three, gonna go right to it. Lethal dose of teenage vampire movies. This should be scary. Really, really scary. Load Science, that thing up. It's nice to take a break and see a film with you in totally no date for sure. Just friends, wait. <laughs> All right. Sweet, sweet, um, look. Vampire romance is still number one at the box office. That's the disturbing. In a row. But how can that be? <laughs> Don't people care about the? Did he get any of that popcorn in his mouth? And thought-provoking plot points anymore. No. Not really. These vampire romance movies are rapidly rotting the brains of America's youth. With each movie, their Wait, brains... Wait, how does he have a PowerPoint slide presentation, presentation ready for this? There will be no brains left. Or overheads. No <laughs> brains. A lot of you probably don't know what overheads are, and my god, wow, that bus had some good four-wheel uh, four traction going on, and that doesn't make any sense. That, I would believe, I though. One more might leave them with no brains at all. Oh, god. Nothing they want. Ever make another cause that will cost like 500 millions? Holy honeycombs! <laughs> the lottery jackpot just went up to 500. Oh my god, I'm face palming right now. That's well, not really, bad. but mentally Ooh. I am. Last night I snuck into Hollywood Fat Cat's house. Wait, why? All his jelly. Okay. Looked for more jelly. <laughs> then found a lottery ticket with these numbers on it. Mmm, not jelly. To Kimmy, if they win this 587.5 million and fund another vampire <laughs> romance movie. It will surely be the end of wow, the world. Wow, so you think that ticket's going to win? Like, are they fixing it? Go now. Break into the lottery machine. Destroy these numbers. <laughs> and look out for teenagers. They will not be happy Do teenagers them. normally hang out in lottery machines? I just put down a three-year <laughs> mortgage on this movie popcorn. Decampi, did you spend all your money? Seriously? All right, so let's see what we got. Usual stuff up and space throws. This appears to be health refills. Alright, this works so far, and, uh... Okay, we're definitely throwing Old Spice as a weapon, just to be clear. Oh, I'm sorry, little girl. Oh, wait, no, you're probably one of those bad people, so the hell with you. Ow! Sparkly? Sparkly man? Edward? Leave me- Hey, whoa, whoa. The hell? Was she, like, gonna, like, what the hell? They shoot lasers? Since when do vampire- I have not seen these movies. Anyone who has or knows about them... Can they tell me, do they really shoot? Holy shoot! If someone could uh, tell me whether they actually... Wow, that thing died in a hurry. If someone could actually tell me if they shoot lasers or not, that would be of a huge help to me. Is it... Oh, that's not one of the numbers. Can I stand on this? I can! Alright. I'd just love to know if they can actually shoot lasers. And if so, that's even more ridiculous than I thought. So, oh. Damn, silly, whatever your name is. I... I know Edward is the vampire. I don't know who what the, 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 the mopey Kristen Stewart girl is. I think I may have taken two out there. Yep, I did. I surely did. Oh. Yeah, I only took two. That third guy was still standing. Bring it on. Dikembe going crazy. Holy crap, Dikembe. Run. Run for your life. These ones are much faster than the last ones. They seem to have a little more of it out for me. There we go. Yeah, Dikembe. That's a lot of old spice containers. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Anyway. <laughs> enough goofing around. We've already destroyed four numbers. This is a pretty short level so far. Mommy. No! Let's go, Cliff. It's real. <laughs> Random turkey! Random turkey! Oh, this is a shot at Congress in the States. Gotcha. US of a. Wow, he just turned around and flew. Remember when he needed a jetpack in the previous level? To, oh, that thing like a, Yeah, that thing will crush. Remember when he needed a jetpack to fly in the first time around? Oh, I got lasered by a vampire. That's pretty embarrassing. 
Wow, this thing is really powerful. Look at how hard that thing is jetting down. Damn. Oh, I don't think so. You freaky deaky Dutch little vampire man. I'm not playing your game. Alright, you guys done? Oh crap, that was probably dumb. I wasn't even thinking. I just jumped. I wasn't paying any attention to whether that thing was actually in the way. Did I just pick one off? I did. Nice. There's something really, really exciting about throwing Old Spice deodorant at people to hurt them. Bring it on, big balls! Whoa, big balls. Big balls. Whoa, big balls. Alright, got rid of one big ball. Of course, it's always the crazy eight. Oh no, I got Dikembe squished. How silly of me. How could I do that to Dikembe is the question. I have no idea. Let's go. Run, Dikembe. Throw them so they can't trash you for friendship. All right, but seriously, that's a lot of money. What are you doing here? I'm here to save your brains from your vampire slash human slash werewolf slash human again of movies and to give you my screenplay. Uh huh. Oh, dude, you trashed his screenplay. How not nice is that? Hello, big ball of money. This is all you're gonna do. You're gonna be pretty easy to kill, dude. He jumped over me. What a silly cat. What a silly fat cat. Wow! That was a very easy boss. Holy crap! It's over, Hollywood fat cat. This Jack's bar is going to the middle of America at the rundown gas station, somewhere like it's always does, <laughs> and not to your vampire romance movie. But we weren't going to make another one. That's crap. What? Well, yeah, we were going to use that money to make an inspirational biopic about no. a small town teacher. <laughs> an inspirational biopic? Oh, well, don't fall for it, Dikembe. Everyone who watched it would go back to school. Oh. And get degrees in proper child nutrition. In no. In desert countries. No. Oh, and we were going to donate all the profits to saving every endangered animal in the world. <laughs> so, not another vampire movie then? No, no. Oh, I was really off on this one. Just kidding, we were totally going to make another vampire <laughs> romance movie and rot more brains. I had you. I totally had you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got me good. Speaking of good, did you really eat my screenplay? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> so, how are we coming on that Maya calendar? Science? Um, Science. well, <laughs> bears have needs to. Yes, I'm just calculating the algorithms. Um, <laughs> let's input your initials and game score stuff in our Mayan calendar carver. And see how much closer we are to completing the ring. <laughs> Poor guy. Alright, let's enter some initials. We are going to be Tor this time. Here we go. How'd we do? We did pretty good. We added in some time for sure. We added 24 minutes and 6.493 seconds. I, I can live with that. We're really working hard, all of us. Anyway, guys, until next time, I'm Bryceoff. Come back next time for week four of Dikembe Mutombo's four and a half weeks to save the world.